Det er der jo så du lader det være. Det er ikke så dejligt. Så det er ikke jo. Det er slag. Men det er meget hårdt at spille. Så det er det. Sige nu. But that priest sprang him seven times and clean. I'm sure you can call out the Jesus Christ and he can clean you and heal you and heal you. Come on. But it takes you to get concerned about your life. Of where you're going to go. You're not going to spend it. It can't be spent. You'll be there for eternity. And Brother Paul said, the young rich ruler, Came to Christ and said, Get the commandments from you folks. But Christ told him he was thou like of one thing. Go and sell what all thou had and give it to the poor. But he was wealthy and wouldn't give nothing. But then you read on down. The Bible says that a rich man opened his eyes in hell. Hundreds up on that. Was that that young rich ruler that went away sorrowful? And then whenever he opened his eyes in hell, he said the rich man, he could have been him. Man. I think about it, but he also thinks in the other young rich man. So I'm saying to you tonight, you have time to call upon God. That's right. While you have life in your body. So when that last breath leaves your body, and you pronounce it as what he did, there's no change, no hope. It's not hope, it's God. Nothing can be done to bring you to God. If you don't leave this life to call upon Him, or already called upon Him, you'll have to. Years ago, a man has come to the church, Buddy Jones. He said, man in the church for 30 some years, played the piano, drove the church bus, Testified that this man was called by God three times to give his life to him. He said, Not now. Mm -hmm. But then when he got down on his deathbed, he called for this man called Buddy Jones, which was his uncle, and asked him to come to Ohio and pray for him that he was a dying. Got to Ohio, he stayed with him for a week and held his hand up and cried. God has never come and I'm dying. Pray for me, I'm leaving this world lost. I went to church for 30 years, but I'm still dying and going to a little hell lost. God come to me three times, and I turned him away. The man went on to say that his uncle passed away and died, but the family asked him, buddy, I need you to preach his funeral. He's me alone. He left no testimony behind that I had to preach his funeral. No doubt that man is in the hands of the just God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we give it to the blood of God. It's all changing.